Today's essential sticking for drum set is the Herta. Now this hybrid rudiment is great because it only utilizes four hand hits. And you can kind of think of this as two fast notes followed by two slower notes. Um, this can be phrased in a variety of different subdivisions and this flows really great on the drum set to create all sorts of really cool sounding fills. Despite the Herta being four notes long, it's often phrased in a feeling of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, dig it, that, that, dig it, that, that, dig it, that, that, dig it, that, that. So if we're thinking in triplets, triplet, 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 right, left, 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 right, left. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to play every note loud, no accents or unaccented notes involved. So let's start by just playing a measure of hertas felt within a triplet subdivision just on the snare drum. Let's try moving it around the drums. And I find a good first approach when moving this around is keeping every herta on one surface. So don't move it to a new surface until you've completed those four notes. Let's try playing this as a one measure fill using a triplet shuffle groove. Now what if we move the two fast notes in the herta, the first two hits, to a different surface? And we keep the two slower notes of the herta, the third and fourth hit, on the snare drum. That would give us some options that would sound like this. Let's try that with the groove. Now what if we allow ourselves to just freely improvise around the drums and kind of let our hands go wherever they want, not necessarily having to stay to one surface per herta. We could come up with some different sounding fills like this. Let's try that with the groove. Now a really fun way to utilize this hurt to fill, and honestly the more common way that it's used is within a 16th note subdivision. 
Now, because the Herta is still phrased within a grouping of three, this creates a fun pattern where the groupings don't always necessarily line up with the 16th note feel. So if we were thinking of a 16th note subdivision, the two fast notes in each Herta are gonna be played as 32nd notes. In order to complete a full measure of 16th notes, we are gonna play four Hertas followed by four 16th notes at the end, just alternating right, left, right, left. If we were to just play that much on the snare drum, it would sound like this. Let's move it around a bit. Let's try this with some grooves. Let's kick it up a little bit. One secret to getting these hertas faster is to make sure that all four notes are full strokes and that we're rebounding and utilizing our wrists when we're playing. So give this herta a try. There are so many cool ways that you can move this around the drum set. Try it as triplets, try it within a 16th note subdivision, and let those hands move around the drums and see what combinations you can come up with. If you enjoyed the lesson, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.